Hi, welcome to GeoVision standalone NVR live demo video tutorial. I'm Steven. Um, today we're going to cover the hardware design of 4 channel and 16 channel SMVR. Then we'll show you the SMVR's UI and features and how to add IP cameras to SMVR. Next, uh, we're going to play back video uh, footage and then export it onto the USB dump drive. Uh, so we are start with the hardware of Fortune SMVR. On the left hand side, you can see uh, the front panel has an HDD error LED, a power HDD LED, uh, two USB port, and uh, audio output. On the right hand side, uh, in the rear back of the SMVR 4 channel, uh, you can see the power, uh, the LAN port, the HDMI, and two USB ports. Mm, on a little hard to notice, there is a pinhole for low default. On the 16 channel SMVR, um, on the front, uh, you can see there are five LEDs, uh, the ready LED uh, HDD status, uh, HDD fail, and WAN and LAN LD. On the left most hand side, uh, you can see the power switch, which is a silver button that uh, will switch on the 16 channel SMVR. Uh, on the rear side, back side of 16 channel SMVR, uh, you can see there is a audio output jack um, on the VGA output, uh, HDMI output as well. Um, there are two, LAN port, uh, two network uh, ports, one for WAN, another for LAN separately. Uh, there's also a little pinhole to load the default. Uh, now we have gone through the hardware design of the 4 channel and 16 channel NVR. Uh, we, next we will show you SMVR's UI and the features and how to add IP cameras to SMVR. Okay, uh, here's the SMVR's um, UI. Um, at the bottom, there's a UI bar, um, which uh, with uh, along some settings, uh, icons, you can choose of uh, the first one is uh, playback. Uh, you can switch between um, playback and live view mode. Um, the second one is uh, the division layout. You can change one by one or two by two layout divisions. Um, the third one is the monitoring. Uh, you can select individual cameras to start or disable monitoring, or you can select all of them. Uh, the th fourth one is the settings. The last one is uh, the power to reboot or lockout. So let's go to the settings. Uh, you can see uh, settings have uh, lots of uh, options to select from. So we'll go into there. The first one is camera. Um, the cameras, um, you can see, uh, okay, um, here I'll, also when you first get uh, in the SMVR's camera tab, uh, SMVR will automatically scan all the IP cameras in the same network and list them under here. So you can manually select them. Um, it will prompt you uh, whether or not you want to automatically assign these IP cameras. Uh, for the sake of this demo video, I will select no. And manually select uh, bullet camera 1501, um, pinhole 2500, um, speed on 2411, bullet 2411. Okay. And once connected, uh, you will see they will display the mainstream and substream resolutions along with the network bandwidth. Um, you can set the camera settings here. Uh, for example, um, see it's based the camera is connected. Um, the blue one covers the motion area. In case you want to um, change the motion detection area, you can also set the motion sensitivity. Uh, currently it's set at 9. Uh, you can lower or uh, tune it to uh, more sensitive to 10. You can change the camera resolutions. Uh, max, currently it's max at um, 1.3 megapixels. Um, you can change the video quality and the bit rate. Uh, also you can change the orientation. Uh, for example, if you want to flip or mirror, you can do so. The flicker is, uh, has more to do with the lightings. Um, for example, uh, whether your lighting is 60 hertz or 50 hertz, so there will be no flicker. Okay, so this is the camera settings. If you want to delete any of them, you can um, put it into the trash to delete them. 
Okay, so that's the cameras. Um, On to the recording. Uh, recording is actually uh, the record schedule. You can set um, record schedule to motion record, which is the red one, or you can set to RTC, which is the blue one by default. You can also clear, um, for example, there is a period you don't want to record, that's fine, you can set it too. The recording schedule can be set individually on each cameras. Uh, if you want to um, apply um, all the cameras to the same schedule, you can apply to all as well. Okay. Um, so now the, that's all for the recording. You can set the schedules. The network settings is pretty simple. Um, either there are two types. Uh, either you can automatically do it by DHCP, or you can manually set it um, in static IP. All you do is that set the IP address, the subnet mask, and the gateway. Also the DDNS. DNS, I mean. Um, the DDS only supports GeoVision's free DDS, uh, which you need to register on our, on our website. And then once you have the hosting and the password, um, it will display the update time, uh, successfully update time here. Okay, on to the email. The email is um, mainly for notification purpose, um, or in case you uh, for need, uh, forgot your password and need to retrieve your password, you will need email. Um, the email is pretty simple. Um, you just uh, enter your sender, e sender email, the receiver email, and the SMTP server port, uh, and the password. That's all. And whether or not you need SSL, okay? The web server is for remote access from web browsers on your PCs. So um, normally it's set at default 80. So if you change your web port, for example, um, to 88, you also need to type in your web browser to specify the web port is 88. Now, so the storage is pretty simple. It only displays the status of the current storage, um, whether it's normal or not. Um, you can do format, the free space, um, the temperature, and the whole total capacity, which one to write. Uh, the display sets the display language. Uh, there are uh, over 13 languages you can ch choose from. Um, the date format, uh, different date formats to your preference. Um, the temperature, whether display is Celsius or Fahrenheit. And the auto scan, uh, you can set the auto scan interval here. Um, from, for example, up to 60 uh, seconds, which is one minute. Um, usually it's disabled. The resolution are Two, um, two different types to choose. Uh, one is Full HD, that's 1080p, or the, another is 4K. Uh, the last ser service mode is mainly for uh, Center V2 and VSM. The Center V2 and VSM uh, mainly sends uh, video and text messages when an event is triggered. Um, for SMVR, that means uh, motion and video loss. You can select which cameras uh, to send the event when the event is triggered or you can select all of them and type just type in the center video IP address um, the port and subscriber ID and password that's all uh, the same is for VSM except that VSM only uh, sends text message over when the event is triggered um, no video uh, center video has both video and text events uh, the system settings, uh, you can set the device name and set up the uh, admin, admin account and password. Uh, also, you can uh, set guest account and password and whether you want to auto log in or not. Um, the, you can set the default IP camera user password here. So uh, in case, uh, for example, you have lots of IP cameras, so you don't have to enter each one. You can enter all the, all the IP cameras default IP uh, user password here, and they will connect automatically. Um, you can enable keep days to see how, how many days you want to keep the information available. Um, there's a low default button just in case you want to load to factory default. Um, you can import or export your settings to a file onto the USB thumb drive. Um, you can also perform firmware upgrades as well. Um, the time is uh, pretty simple. You just um, set the time zone, um, whether or not you want to uh, enable daylight saving time, depending where you are. And uh, it, just in case you want to sync your 
SMBR's time over a network, uh, we support NTP as well. You just um, enable it and type in the NTP server. That's all. Um, the syslog uh, provides a variety of information. You can see um, camera connection loss, resume, um, schedule, even any user perform the, any functions on the SMBR will be recorded. Um, so uh, you can actually have a filter which will help you sort through the system log um, easily. So you can specify the, um, the start and end time period uh, which you want to go through and which device, for example, which cameras and whether it's user pr pr uh, doing the actions or the system. And the last one is the different types of events you want to specify. Okay, so uh, this is uh, how our SMVR's UI looks like and all of uh, many of its features. Um, so on the next part, uh, we will demonstrate how to um, playback video and on timeline search and then export the footage to the USB dump drive. Now we have gone through SMVR's UI uh, features and how to add IP cameras. Uh, here next we will show you how to play back the video footage in timeline and then export it uh, to AVI files on your USB thumb drive. Okay, uh, now we're going to uh, demonstrate how to play back in uh, SMVR and how to export the footage. Uh, so you, on the bottom UI bar, uh, click on the playback button and you will see on the right hand side there's a timeline on the left hand side there's a playback control um, you can zoom in the um, timeline so and then click back any point of time you want to play back and uh, it's very intuitive you can fast forward or do slow playback slow motion playback and uh, if you want to um, select different time or uh, different days of footage uh, you can do in the calendars uh, you can select different days uh, only we have current day uh, so that's uh, for the playback it's pretty simple and intuitive now uh, on to the uh, export uh, you can see the export button here on the most right hand side right hand, right bottom hand side and once you click it uh, we all you will see there's a free space means that we have a USB dump drive already uh, connected on the SMVR so you um, you can specify the um, date uh, that's uh, for example this uh, May 11th and um, for example uh, 18 that's 6 p.m. and then um, start time stop time uh, will be um, 6 p.m. Um, uh, one minute for the sake of simplicity uh, channel 3 and then we will start export and uh, export is only take up a couple of minutes it's usually very fast if you have a uh, longer footage to export then we'll take some time longer okay now it says the export is finished and that's all uh, so we hope uh, you liked it Okay, that's all. Uh, for more detailed information, uh, you can go to our website, uh, www.geovision.com.tw. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email us at support at geovision.com.tw. Um, we thank you for joining us, and we hope you enjoyed our video tutorial. Uh, until next time, I'm Steven.